Hi, this is Jonna, the Preppy Crafty Girl, and I'm here with a show of a kit that's going up in my shop. Hopefully, before the weekend, I will have a bunch of kits going in. But this one is kind of um, like about Thanksgiving Day and turkeys and all of that good stuff. So let's get going. So to begin with, I've got all these little like sewing ephemera. So there's this cute little hook and eye. These are old, old, old. Then I've got these vintage buttons and they are on a really frail card. And I just want to tell you that the things that are items that are in here are old. So, you know, they're going to have some wear and tear and some stains and things like that, but that's what makes it yummy, right? And um, so this is just a piece of thread. I don't know. It was just on a tag or card and some hem tape in this yummy kind of rusty yellow. I've got this simplicity uh, with the pilgrim on it. Pilgrim girl. I've got this 1960s receipt. And then I've got this olive colored $5 game piece. And a, now this has a little bit of writing on it. So, you know, something's got some writing, whatever. But because it had the 11 on it, I thought that would be cute for uh, November for Thanksgiving. There's this little Indian girl or Native American. A lot of the ephemers from the 60s, 50s and 60s, they were not calling them Native Americans yet. So pardon me if I have offended anyone, but she has this costume on. So, um, yeah. And then I've got three pieces of calico full colors. There is some sheet music. I've got lots of sheet music. One called Why Mr. Gobbler Changed His Tune. The First Thanksgiving Day. Pilgrims. And then 10 little Indian. Okay, I've got some decorator fabric, which will have a hole because that's where the binding was and it will have paper on the back because it came out of a decorator fabric sample book, an Edith Holden page. This was out of her craft book. That's November. This came out of a 1960s uh, Good Housekeeping. So there's this one. And then there's also this one. This does have a little tear and it's kind of fragile, but I just had to put it in there, first of all, because of the graphic, and then second of all, the color is amazing. And I don't know who this is, but to me, growing up, we always had like a children's table. So this is the children's table. So you ever had to sit at a children's table for any event? This is, I just thought this was the cutest little picture. And look at her little face and she's over here just grinning. And I just, you know, I don't know if this is from Thanksgiving, but I'm just gonna say it is. Here is a Betty Crocker recipe card. And then uh, I just stitched on some fabric and made it like a little journaling card. This is a, um, label, I believe, I don't, yeah, I'm not sure if it's gummed or not, I don't know, but I just love the colors. The turkey out of this book, which I had to fold because it won't fit in my mailing size, so I had to fold it. And this is a recipe, oh my goodness, and it came out, these people, I don't know where she was from, but it's maybe German. Uh, some of the words look like they might be German, but it's a roast turkey and it is very well loved. <laughs> then this came out of a um, journal that I had. It was from like 1994, whatever, it had roses in it, but I liked it because it had November and then it had Thanksgiving Day. This is not the correct dates for this year. So uh, yeah, just be aware of that. Then these came out of a 1950s um, 
crafts, arts and crafts, kindergarten arts and crafts book. But I thought this was really cute. And then it had the pilgrim and it had the turkey, the pilgrim, the hatchet and the turkey. And then it has this diorama with the pilgrim and the little pilgrim girl. And so, yeah, I had to include these, this is too cute. Then I had this uh, advertisement for um, Kellogg's stuffing. And so I just thought that was really interesting. And then there is a children's. And uh, by the time you watch this video, it will already be listed. And uh, thank you so much for watching my video. This one is going to be the blue, green, gray kit. Um, it's girl themed, of course, and um, I hope you enjoy it. So let's get in. Um, this is a photo of these two ladies sitting around having appetizers, a vintage, or I think this was like actually an antique game that I had bought many years ago, and so I got the money out of it. This is a wine, uh, sorry, they're having a party next door and it's like super loud. So I apologize if you hear that in the background. And also there's a band playing outside. So it's extremely noisy where I am. I apologize if you can hear that in the back of the video, but I'm really wanting to get these done and I'm wanting to get them up in my shop. So this is a wine label, a German flash card, uh, this is from a yearbook, these three ladies. Look at her with her glasses, so cute. And then, or you could flip it over and do two guys and a lady, whatever. You could cut them apart and use them singularly. They're so much fun from a yearbook, old yearbook I had. This is from 1960s. This is from a 1930s um, ledger that I have. This is the alphabet A and B, but I don't know that there's any A's on here. I think this is actually B's and C's, but it's just, look at these numbers and look at the curl on the two, so cute. Uh, here are the ladies that are going with this kit coming out of a vintage 1960s pattern counter book that I've had forever. A Green Beans Mornay handwritten old uh, recipe card, but I just love the stain patina on there, so pretty. I didn't tea dye or color any of this. I'm leaving it all with its natural patina. If you wanna make it darker or stain it or ink it or whatever, that's up to you. This is all just naturally aged, so. I just want to put that out there. This is like an aqua-y kind of blue flash card. I don't have a lot of these and I love these. I have not seen too many in the aqua. I actually haven't seen any while I've been out. Just found this one set. This is an antique button card with pearl buttons. This is a, uh, I think it's better, Homes and Garden or no, Betty Crocker. And it is a recipe card for Gooseberry Fool. And then it ha I stitched on some fabric and I uh, stitched on a little piece of paper for some kind of journaling card. Here's a little antique dryer oil ticket voucher. These are bingo sheets. These are wine labels. This is an old Norman Rockwell card. She's so cute. Plain card. And these, this is what inspired me was this 1953 wallpaper. So I have this and a piece of the border going in there. Um, a book page. This came out of a 1984 uh, little pamphlet that I had called The Journal. This is out of a 1960s Good Housekeeping, but I just love the percale sheets and the little, the pen and the note. 
Then I have some decorator fabric going in this one. You'll get one square and then a half a square. So in coordinating fabric. They will have holes in them from where they were bound and they, this one doesn't have the paper. Let me see, does this one have paper on it? No, this one doesn't have paper, but it does have the stain where the paper was. But you can see that it has the holes from being bound in a book. This came out of a sewing binder that I had. Handwriting, children's handwriting paper. This is a word card, and then you can fold it and get different words. This is lovely, oh, just gorgeous color, old book page. Another piece of my yummy map paper with that blue gray and the mustardy, khaki, green, olive green. I love that. Oh. And some Hashida memo pad, that blue green, a uh, rent, like it's for rent receipt from the 19, I don't know what year, but 19 something. Typewriter. This used to go down in the typewriter, and then you would type on and put this on the folder. So typewriter or folder labels. These are two pieces of scrapbook paper from Anna Griffin that match the kit I've curated. And here are some like journaling cards and um, note cards you can cut out. So that is this kit. And I hope you're enjoying this series of my kits. I know I have a lot going into the shop. This is Fit and Fabulous 50. So you can use it as a birthday theme, you can use it for 50, or you can just use it in any way you want. But I curated this kit and I'm excited to share it with you. So I'm just gonna go through each little bit and piece so that you can see it and it will be available in my Etsy shop. And the links are down, whoops, sorry. <laughs> the links will be down below. Just click on the down arrow and it will uh, be there and take you to my Etsy shop. So if you're not a subscriber, I would love if you would subscribe and I'm going to be doing some upcoming videos in my book about me and also in my traveler's notebook. I have a lot of videos planned. I've just been doing a lot of kidding for my shop, trying to get things in there because I have been requested to start sharing some of my um, really cool vintage items. So here we go. So you're gonna get two ladies from a 1960s pattern counter book. You're going to get this little sweet vintage photo of a girl and she is blowing out her birthday candles. Two vintage pink buttons, they're so cute. This has seen better days, but the buttons are just beautiful. Also, an antique button card with pearl buttons on there. This is a playing card in a birthday gift or a Christmas gift or whatever gift. This is a garment tag that has 50 on it. Now, everything's going to, this also has like a little, well, it's already started a collage for you. How do you like that? Uh, some of the things are going to have a patina or some spots on them because they are old. So there is going to be wear and tear. I have not tea dyed or coffee stained anything. If it's patina, it's because of age. So uh, this is an index card with a B on it. Happy birthday tag. A couple of tickets. A recipe card. Look at this cake. Oh my gosh, that looks phenomenal. That I have stitched some fabric on and a, a little journaling spot, but summer lemon cake. Oh my gosh, please let me know if you end up making that cake. It looks delish. 
I have some 1953 wallpaper pieces. A flash card. Actually, there are several flash cards. There is one like, see, I don't know what that is, but it's got a little something on these cards, so it might be glue. And then, so there are a few flashcards, ice cream. This is actually a German flashcard, and then this says, um, if it's true, and then it says, I have a wish. So I thought that would be really cute. This is some kind of label. I believe that it was gummed at one time. I don't know that I would try that out if I were you because these are, this was old. This is a wine label. And this is a Nehi Bottling Company. Here are some bingo sheets that I made sure had 50 on them. Here is a one of those stamp collector books, a sheet in there that had a little package present. To be done today card. These are Anna Griffin. Uh, they are cutouts. Here is a little crown sticky note and a playing card. It's Norman Rockwell. This is Mother Bear's Present. This is out of a child's book. This is more of this, oh, this is another one that I had. And this one has all like pastel sherbet colors. Oh, isn't this most lovely piece of matte you've ever seen? Oh my goodness, even that lilac down in there with the yellow. <gasps> Just beautiful. So you're gonna get a sheet of that. This I brought back from Italy. Even though it is in French, I'm not really sure why, but it was some birthday wrapping paper that has a nice texture to it. Then there's some fabric. This is a swatch of vintage calico. This is out of a decorator uh, book so it will have holes and it will have a piece of paper on the back but look at how pretty it goes with this Anna Griffin paper so you have that you have that and then that's the fabric come on and this one come on so I like I said I have curated these kits um, so everything just goes beautiful if I do say so myself. And this is a executive decision tally that has the months on it. That'd be funded journal. And then a, uh, a paint chip. Now the paint squares that I do have available in the kits, to be honest with you, I was picking out paint for my craft room. So a lot of these colors, I wanted a pastel color. So um, I had a lot of the paint chips left over and I just threw them in the kit, so. Okay, so this is Fit Fabulous at 50 kit. <laughs> I don't know what I'll call it, but anyway. So uh, this will all come, this scrap of paper will be folded in half, the fabric will be folded in half because it's going to fit in this. And then it will also come in a, this was new in the package sheet, vintage sheet, and I just made an envelope out of it. So it will slide down in the envelope and then it will be tied up with either yarn or I have antique seam binding. So I hope you enjoyed the go through of my kit. I hope you visit the shop, which will be in the links below. Just click the little arrow and it'll all open up and the description will come in there, but um, it'll be going in the Etsy shop for sure by this weekend. calling her Sally Sharp only because I found this old handwritten recipe card and it had carrot cake and it says Sally Sharp so meet Sally Sharp so I thought this was really cute and then I had this vintage old I uh, love the aqua table octagonal table and the girls blowing out her candles and then I've got some kind of quilting like fabric sample 
in green. So this is kind of like greens and gray, uh, kind of a theme for the colorway. I have I pulled out some things that had 40 on it, or four, or four. So there's this cute little clock flashcard. These three ladies from an old yearbook that I had. Some memo sheets, one on American Cryogenics, which was just in gray, and then this blue and green memo from a memo pad. Then I have, this one is a game sheet, and then, but I got it because it has the, uh, the uh, months across it. A card with a little girl, Norman Rockwell an antique pearl button card. Look at that, all that work. They used to stitch them on back in the day, huh? Here is Sally Sharp. So she's out of a counter, a pattern counter book that I had from uh, the 1960s. These are some uh, punch outs from uh, Anna Griffin. A game token. This is from a nature book. I made this little note card for journaling uh, with this cake on it. This looked yummy. What is this? Chocolate layer cake. This is a children's book, but it has this little like lamb person with a little gift in his hands. So, and it says, did you buy your mother a present? <laughs> Then there is this page out of a sewing book that I had. Two little tickets. This is one of those, you fold it up and it's a birthday and both sides are gorgeous. Look at this bird, it's so pretty. You can see that. Another card. I couldn't find one that had 40 on it, but if you end up using this in your journal, if you take the girl and you put her over that, then you have the 40 behind her head. So I just thought that was kind of cool. Or you could put anything like right there, you know, you could just put like uh, something else, you know, just to cover it. So here's a German word card, flashcard, and also a music flashcard. This is some fabric out of a decorator sample book. And so it will have two holes in it from when it was bound and it will have a piece of paper here on the end, but the rest is very usable. A wine label. This is an old knee high bottling company invoice from Bowling Green, Kentucky. I don't know what year it is, but super old, really nice. Some file folder. Sorry, I hit the camera, apologize. Uh, file folder labels, these are stickers for your typewriter. Another card, uh, I just loved, it had that joy on there and it has empower, embrace, embody, enable, enlarge, and trust, and then, but you can also see embark and bitter and blazon, and then you can enjoy, enroll, enrich. So however you wanna use it. This is some more of that, my favorite yummy map atlas. Some handwriting paper. This is uh, from an old book that I have. I just love the color of the paper. Uh, it's a nice weight, but I just love that it said won the princess on there, so. These are some bingo sheets. This is a little divider for indexes, miscellaneous. I thought that was cute, and the fact that it's green. This is not old, but it is a time card, but I liked it because it had the days of the week and then also has time, so you can just use that for journaling or you can collage it, whatever. This is a, This actually is a really old uh, rent receipt. And there's this ad. I just got it because it's gray and they're cooking, but you know, you could do whatever. 
And then it has some recipes on the back. Pre peanut brittle candy. Mmm. Apple delight. Blueberry buttle or tea cake. Wow, these recipes sound really good. Okay, sorry. <laughs> this is what happens to me. I digress. Okay, so then you have two sheets of um, Anna Griffin paper. And I'm going... To, if it doesn't fit in the pouch, then things had to be folded. So... Um, because it's coming in the, like a little clear pouch like this to protect everything. Another kit, this one I'm calling 30 and Flirty, or I'm calling it the Pastel Party Pie. So you can either use it for birthday, there are some birthday themed ones in here, or you can just use each piece individually. So let's get started. I have a... Uh, flashcard with like three zero on it so you could use that this also has three o'clock so you could just do the 30 from it if, it if you want to do that or you don't have to you just you can do this the tag also has 30 on it so this is perfect if you're turning 30 or you're doing your 30th or you want or you have a friend that's going to turn 30 and this would be a great great present especially to an introduction to junk journaling collage however mixed media however you want to use it so there's this pink tag there is some these are some uh, I, I'm not really sure if they were making a quilt or they were going to make some of those round but I got a whole stack of these round cutouts and then this was I guess a quilting square and then this is an old crocheted, it's so delicate, but it's just a little piece that I had. Here's the birthday girl with her birthday cake, and uh, I just thought it's so pastel-y, it's perfect. This is a German flashcard type thing where you can learn it, and it says she was possibly 30 years old, and then it has how to say it in German. These are a uh, pearl, antique pearl a button card. Here's your pastel party pie, handwritten. I love this, oh, this patina on these handwritten recipe cards. This is a piece of, it's like a, a garment tag, and then it had some just pastel -y type string wrapped around it, but I love that it says gold, gold crown and then has the gold crown on there. A little best wishes tag. This is a little bit of, it actually came this way, so I just kept it on the card and I tucked in two little tickets on there. This is a playing card. And it has a little girl dressed up with some bunnies. It's a Norman Rockwell print. This is a little crown post-it note, a little sticky note. And then this is a little pastel party theme from Life Magazine, which I thought was awesome. Or if you're not gonna do the pastel party theme and you wanna do an aqua refrigerator, which, oh, I wish they would come back out with this <laughs> for $299. You can tell that's the 60s, huh? Then I have some, uh, this is like a B for birthday or whatever, um, index divider. And then there's like this little notebook paper. And this is out of a floral book. And then these are, this is wallpaper from the 1953 wallpaper book that I'm sharing. So some pieces from that in pastel colors. And then this is a piece of this Helen Steiner Rice uh, wrapping paper bit that has this saying on it, life's completeness and richness depend on the things we share with our loved ones and friends. This is a piece of uh, wrapping gift wrap paper that I actually bought when I was in Italy. It has really nice texture and fun little graphics. So you're going to get a piece of that. And then here's uh, that executive decision tally that has the months of the year. This is a blueberry wine label. 
from Germany. Here is a music flashcard, some handwriting paper, some music paper, in case you want to write your own, an index card in aqua, and a little aqua ticket, and a little blue seam binding uh, pack, like, you know, it wraps around. But I did a video using this and made it a pocket, so this is from 1971. And I'm, I, uh, it's on one of my traveler's notebook sewing one, I think it's on uh, me and my mom or something like that. So you'll have to look for that one to see how I use that if you don't have any ideas for it. This is a uh, paint chip card. This is a pretty pastel party card from the Betty Crocker recipe library. And there is some ledger paper sewn on with some map and a piece of vintage fabric. These are two pieces of decorator fabric from a sample decorator book. So there will be holes and there will be paper on the back. So let's see, there's two holes where it was bound, but there's plenty of fabric that's still usable. Then I've got some punch outs by Anna Griffin, a bingo sheet, a children's book that has um, it is a good present for my mother. It talks about a present and she's shopping. Here is another vintage uh, fabric quilting square in pastels to go with our pastel party pie. Here is a Holden stamp book page that has the birthday cake on it. Here is to be done today card. This is a piece of this beautiful, oh my gosh, this is another one of my favorite finds, was this atlas that is pastels. So you have peach and mint green and pink. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh. Ah, it just reminds me of like Sherbert. Then I've got this out of a 1950s children's art and craft book, so it has presents on there. Then this is Anna Griffin paper. So you get three sheets of Anna Griffin paper. So you can either, they're double-sided. And they will be folded in the kit again. Some of the pages that can't fit in the envelope are going to be uh, folded, along with the fabric will be folded. So that is this pastel party pie <laughs> kit.